actually still need to pick out my outfits for Coachella this year, which I don't know why outfits for events like gives me so much anxiety. Anyone else you like freak out before you go on a trip or like yeah, I have to plan something for an event. I just freak out. And Max and I are gonna go to dinner tonight, so that's first on the agenda. That's you know more urgent. So I gotta find an outfit for that since he's actually leaving tomorrow for a away game, and I was just away. So we're like tonight we have to have a day night since we've like barely been with each other. So I gotta find a cute outfit for that. Okay, the first outfit I'm thinking I could wear for dinner tonight is this little set. Isn't this so cute? This is from Princess Polly, and I actually feel like I would say is it warm enough for this? Yes, it's literally like. 65 out right now and sunny and I feel like for later even though I'll probably get a little chillier if I did like a blazer over or something I just think this set is so cute. It's like textured. This will be so good for the spring into the summer And I want to shout out princess Polly for sponsoring this video Thank you so much princess Polly for working with me on this video. You guys know I have been a long time fan of Princess Polly. I'm literally their number one fan. Like I have shopped on Princess Polly for a hundred years now it seems, it feels like, but no, you guys know I just love their clothes so much. They literally have the best pieces. Like I feel like they have always have like the new trends, like they're so stylish and like this is just such a cute set. So everything I'm gonna be showing you guys, I will have a link down below. I'll give you a little haul of all the new pieces I got in. I know you guys can use my code Gretchen G for 20% off. I'll have that like listed on the screen right here and linked down below so you don't forget. Code Gretchen G because I know it changes sometimes. So don't forget. Gretchen G. I know Princess Polly offers free standard shipping in the US on orders over $50. And they also offer shop pay and after pay to all their US customers. So yes, this is option one. I think this is what we're going with. I think I've decided because I think it's so cute. Blazer, I could do like heels or even sneakers to like make it more casual. Yeah. Then we've got this long sleeve, which when I saw this on there, I was like, I'm so obsessed. I'm loving everything sheer right now. I feel like that's so in and maybe because I'm in like Coachella mode, I'm looking at so many sheer things. But I was like, this top is so dreamy. I love how the sleeves are kind of like loose and long like that. And I just kept on the white tube top from before. Like I would wear something like this underneath, maybe even like you could do a little smaller bralette, whatever. But I just think this is like so cute again for spring and summer. Then I got two pairs of like longer denim shorts because I just feel like I have a lot that are short and I'm like less comfortable in also I feel like long ones are just like trendy and fun so yes here's one pair of the denim shorts I got I love them like I feel like long is just flattering on me since I'm quite tall but also I'm just more comfortable and I love them these feel like really really nice and these are the other pair I got also long denim like you could see I just like that this kind of had like distressed detailing right there but like pretty similar I love this just like a light blue wash so good. Okay, then this is like so out of my comfort zone, but I mean not this tank top I've just been loving this style tank top with like the black the way I feel like I've seen this around I think it's just so cute. The pants are really what is like woo. They're just really flowy obviously What I mean when I say they're out of my comfort zone is like I just usually don't wear pants like this baggy They're kind of like a cargo jean that's really loose But I thought, thought these would be so fun at Coachella and I also want to let you guys know in case you're wondering I am a US 6 in pretty much everything and I feel like it fits me like a glove. These definitely weren't oversized. I feel like I could have done a four. But also, I feel like they're supposed to fit like this, you know? So just keep that in mind. Again, everything I'm showing will be linked down below. In this dress, I am so obsessed with. I want every color. I love the style of it, how it like folds over up top. It's like that silky kind of dress with this kind of back. Like so flattering. So cute, long enough on me, I just love. Also, you guys, a couple more pieces from Princess Polly I actually just tried on over the weekend for Easter since they're all the pieces I brought there. I was thinking in case I wanted to wear on Easter, I just packed them, so I tried them all on while I was there, so I can insert that footage right here. We got this corset top. This is so cute. I actually really love this together. The skirt, it's kind of like a more sheer, knit skirt. I think this would be so cute. It's like a cover-up too in the summer with like a bathing suit. But the corset with like the maxi skirt is like very adorable to me. I love this. I kind of went crazy with the corsets. You'll see. Just brought them all as options. Excuse me, Brody. Okay, then we got this corset top. I'm obsessed, you guys. I know it's just like the other one but white, but it's actually not just like the other one because this is more like casual, kind of like ribbed. It doesn't like hook in the front, you know? And I feel like I saw girls like dress it up, dress it down. I really love this together too. Especially imagine it's like a bride. Oh, this is so good. Like ignore the tag in the back and whatever. But like, 
we really love. You guys need this top. I just think this is so cute. I'm like so behind on this corset trend, but it gets really flattering. Again, dress it up, dress it down. Okay, this I actually sized down because they were sold out in a six. I'm really not a four at all. I don't know how this is working. Maybe it runs a little bigger and it's just more snug on me, but I think it's so cute. And I thought this was so Easter. Look at her. If you guys couldn't tell, Lucy actually just wore this to church because she was like, I don't know what to wear. And I was like, this would be so cute on you. So she just wore this, but like, don't we love? So fun. Just like green, springy. Now we got this little number. So I wanted to steal it from Gretchen, but I think it fits for like a glove. So, so nice I think she has to keep it. I feel like I never she do never wear it. She never wears red and I really like it. Like this is so out of my comfort zone, but it's really like I love the I'm way shopping it fits. long enough. Yes. Because I always struggle with laying for dresses. So you guys, if you're really like, girly, this is a good one. Because I feel like I'm not sure. It's going to be hard like where it's falling short. down, but it looks like perfect. And it has like a little, that, you know, grippy. band right there. Yeah, grippy. So it stays, it doesn't fold over. Yeah. Good for if you're not that blessed up top. Yeah. I feel like it's kind of like flattering. It's really flattering. I like it. I feel like it, yeah. It I might have to get it and then we can match. <laughs> They need to make this in more colors because I really like the material and how it's kind of like, like a little print. Yeah. Okay, we love. Lastly, just brought this as my PJ set. It's been so perfect. Also, feel like this is so spring and Eastery floral. Fun fact about this is I was actually on the wait list to be notified when it was back in stock for like months because I wanted it so bad. And I think it's just adorable. Like a little floral print, comfy, kind of like flowy shorts, top. Feels so cute in the set. So cozy, like lounge, PJ. Also, I feel like you could dress this up low key in the spring or summer. Like, do like a jacket over it, flip flops, like run around, you know? Farmer's market. I don't know. It's so cute. So those are all the pieces I got from Princess Polly. I love them so much. Literally, my most favorite clothes. Again, don't forget to use my code at Gretchen G for 20% off. Now, Brody, come back. we're running errands. <laughs> I have to tell you guys, normally, I have a fun car drink this time i have a fun car snack well i got a fun Fritos. car drink that go yep well these uh, actually have fritos yeah oh. these are i think they're called corn, corn dippers yeah, dippers from trader joe's they're probably even better than fritos okay bro do you like to have a tiny bite a frito for you a frito for me love me and <laughs> First stop was the post office. Max was mailing something. Now, you got any errands to run, sir? What's that? Oh, I'm just wet. <laughs> now, I gotta find a happy returns location. Don't you guys love a good happy return? Because I do. It's just what so convenient. Those? They're just quick and easy. Yeah, like I literally just hand them this bag and then they probably like package it all up and ship it back and they refund you like right when you drop it off. Mm. Isn't that crazy? Love you, happy return. Sponsor me. <laughs> all ready for dinner. This is the fit. Look how cute. I love that these boots go so well with my little trench coat. This is actually from Princess Polly as well. I can link this to. Had it for a minute, isn't it so cute? I like this together even more than I thought. I think this is like such a cute little dinner date night outfit. It's like almost six o'clock. We're gonna head out. We're going to this restaurant called Sete Luna. We wanted to go there literally for probably like a year. We've still never been. We've had plans to go and then we end up switching like last minute or going somewhere nearby. We're finally going. I'm so excited. It's like cold an hour right now. We just got over to Easton. We're ready for some food. I'm hungry. Feeling stuffy, sorry if I sound stuffy everyone. I really think, if you saw the end of my last vlog, I've been waking up with like really red eyes and I was thinking it could be allergies, but I was like, no, it probably stuffy nose then all day today. My throat, like I sound so congested, my nose is so runny, so I feel like it's allergy season kicking up. It must be, I don't feel like there's pollen in there, but there must be because I'm quite sensitive to pollen and I'm feeling like right now, you know? So, mm -hmm. sorry that I sound like this. We got this little spring salad. It looks so yummy. I love like a candied walnut, champagne vinaigrette type of thing. Yeah. And we got like truffle burrata with beets. Some of my favorite things. Burrata, truffle, beets. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, and I got an Aperol. Sprints. It's so good. What do we think? 
Looks good. Do you like? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, get in there. Max is waiting for me to film. I'm like, oh no, you can film while, or no, you can do while I'm filming. Those meatballs look good. <laughs> we got a little side of meatballs. Got some bolognese. I got this like butternut squash ravioli. Also, guys, the food came so quick. Like the second we were done with our apps, which are delicious by the way, they showed up. I'm like, wow, the service. So we love. Were you meatball good? Yeah. Woo! -hoo. We got some cheesecake for dessert. Oh, that looks so good. If you guys watch Survivor, then you'll understand what I'm about to say. Cheesecake. <laughs> That's how Jeff says all the food rewards. He goes, chocolate chip cookies. Mm -hmm. Cheesecake. <laughs> that was the yummiest dinner ever. That was so good. And like so quick. Uh, Service yeah. was so fascinating. I don't know if it's because it's a Monday. Like they I were just. I feel like it's always that quick. And quick, but yeah. Oh, my food was so good. I love a butternut squash ravioli. That was delicious. So good. If you guys like, look at this is so niche, but if you've ever been to the Giacomo's in Boston, they have the best butternut squash ravioli of all time. And this one here was just like it. And it's just like fulfilling my need and love mm. for butternut squash wrap. And that cheesecake. So, so good. good. Wednesday afternoon now sorry I've neglected you guys a little bit because yesterday all I showed was my little bar class and then I felt like I was running around trying to get it together all the things in order before I leave and then you just saw today I packed up my suitcases very haphazardly I just went through and organized them so I'll show you guys that um, and then the only other thing I forgot to bring my camera I got laser hair removal earlier I had an appointment and I'm also filming like a little pack and prep TikTok vlog as well so I was telling them sorry <laughs> that's why you've been neglected but I was saying how this will probably be my last laser hair removal for like the whole summer because I'm gonna get tan and you can't do laser with sun exposure so yeah that's probably my last for a minute but so happy with the results so far like very little hair growth underarms bikini my legs everything like that so yeah that's the update on that I'm about to self tan which is probably not recommended you really can't even self tan when you're doing laser but since I know I'm not gonna go back because I'm gonna start being too tan also my life hack is they definitely don't recommend this but when I was going every five weeks like they recommend I would just self tan like a day or two after I get a treatment so that I had the full five weeks for it to like fade and go away before my next treatment but you really aren't supposed to have like self tan or any sort of tan at all because the laser can burn you blah 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 so it's probably not good that I'm gonna self tan like a couple hours later but I have to since I'm going to Coachella. I'm just gonna feel way more like confident in my skimpy little outfits, you know. This is what we got going on earlier. I just kind of threw it all in there, but we're doing good. I would say a good start at least. No, what am I saying? I'm pretty much done. This is all my clothes. Bras, socks, undies, swimsuits, like my Coachella outfits are under there, some comfy stuff, normal like everyday clothes, some sunscreen. I really hope that I don't have trouble with the weight of this bag. I feel like I won't. Maybe when I have my toiletries, honestly, those are always so, I was going to say expensive, so heavy. <laughs> yeah, so I just need to do my toiletries in a bit, throw that in there, and then my carry-on. I just did shoes and bags because I feel like shoes are also very heavy. 
so I thought if I did it in here, it would make the weight of that bag less, you know what I mean? And bags, because they say to always put bags like stuff that you would be okay, that you wouldn't be okay with losing, because obviously you don't really lose stuff in chick bags, but like you always could or something, so I don't know. So I feel like they say to put bags in the carry-on to keep it with you, to keep it safe. And my last trip, I had so much anxiety, you guys. My personal item was heavy, and I just threw my Chanel bag in the check bag and shipped it off, and I was like, see ya. And the whole flight, I was like, oh my gosh, if my bag gets lost, I'm gonna feel like such a dummy that I did that. So anyway, I don't know if this is like true or not. This could just be like, like a, why can't I think of the word? Not a wise tale. <laughs> <laughs> An old wise, yeah. No, it could be just like a thing that people say, but it doesn't really matter. But I don't know. Have you guys heard of that? Yeah, no, I think like that is a thing to put valuables, I guess, in your carry on. So that's the progress. Just have to do my personal item, personal item, and my toiletries. Usually, I'm a little bit of an anxious wreck the night before a flight, and it's already like 6 p.m., but I'm doing okay. It's all gonna be okay. I've made some good progress. We're gonna self tan right now. Get that over with. Sorry, my mirror's like dirty. Ignore that. Here's the before. Way it's like hours later now. I never showed you guys my after. This is the after. <laughs> Sorry, I wanted to show you right after. I was like, where did I put my freaking camera? Left in the bathroom. Never even showed you the after. Here's the after. We love the self tanner. Feeling like a bronzed queen. But I'm about to throw my toiletries together. I let it get so late. I always do this before travel. I like freak out about traveling so i worry and stress so much so then i can't do anything because i feel like i have so much to do but the whole thing i was worried about was not sleeping enough and it getting late but now it's late because i didn't do anyone else <laughs> so if it's okay with you guys i actually feel like this vlog is getting pretty long luckily my nails are already done so this prep travel tra i can't even speak i'm tired this prep travel vlog not too much prep, my nails are done, toes are done, stuff like that. Just like self-tan packing, stuff like that. But I feel like I filmed so much. Max is my like date night and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna be delirious and not making sense anyway if I keep vlogging, so I'm gonna end this off here. Next vlog will be at Coachella. See you guys there. I can't believe it's time for this already. I don't feel ready, but I'm so excited. It's gonna be great. Okay, love you. See you in my next video, bye.